hello guys welcome back cg cake is here so today it's a beginner friendly tutorial about molecular plus add-on in blender 3.6 so we're gonna do this type of animation and without further ado let's begin so now we're gonna proceed by creating the glass we add a cylinder object and we adjust uh, the size now as you can see i have the screencast add-on and uh, you can follow along you can see which button i'm uh, pressing <coughs> so we must uh, <coughs> be careful because sometimes um, glass can be tricky and uh, if we are not careful from the beginning it can uh, cause some um, weird um, sh shading issues so now i'm gonna proceed to uh, create um, select the subdivision modifier we can increase the subdivision levels shade smooth nothing really so nothing really complicated here and uh, when you press shift e as you see there the purple line it's just a crease you do a crease so you don't have to add um, more lines and make it um, complicated so just press shift E and you make the crease with only that line. We press I to inset the face. We make sure it's smooth. All right, now it looks good enough. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed to uh, create a circle. And then in edit mode, we fill it up with F. We check the face orientation and then normally the the right faces should be facing upward like that we adjust the placement uh, of the emitter because that circle is gonna be our emitter uh, emitting object we make sure the camera is um, placed correctly now you select the circle we just created and then we go and search molecular plus add-on and then press the emitter and then we place col uh, press collider for the uh, for the glass and then um, collider for the ground and then we uh, begin the simulation normally it should take uh, a little while so i'm gonna skip up ahead and we continue with the tutorial so now that uh, we have um, baked the simulation we're gonna proceed to create a icosphere and then you ch we choose the circle we go to particles and then uh, we choose the render and then choose object and we choose the icosphere so now it render as the icosphere we can adjust the size and that's it so basically that's the simulation right there we can shade smooth the icosphere if we want so now we can begin uh, the shading we go to the shading tab and here we create a new material for the glass which is gonna be obviously a glass shader we connect to the surface and then we um, add a new material for the uh, ground and the new material for the icosphere which is gonna be um, our particles so we choose now the cycle and we choose the GPU compute we reduce the max sampling to 32 so it's gonna be faster to render we can add the motion blur so we can check it now uh, how it looks now we need to work the lighting so we choose here from the world tab an environment texture which is gonna be our HDRI so we choose uh, an image for the lighting I think I will change that yeah this looks looks better 
and uh, as we can see in the render there is a shading issue which uh, to solve that we need to, um, uh, to we need to inspect the the mesh itself again so guys now after i inspected the mesh i found out that it wasn't a problem in the mesh it was a subdivision problem because i tend to lower the subdivision levels when i work and i leave the higher uh, resolution for the render so basically yeah so as soon as i work the subdivision modifier it's kind it kind of looks uh, fine so this is the glass and um, yeah i need to um, because sometimes when you when you look at the glass the bottom part is is kind of rough it's not like crystal clear like this so uh, i need to, to find a way to uh, simulate that or emulate that um, and the only way that i found is to uh, just to give it um, a proper material which is another glass material but uh, with higher um, roughness levels as uh, you can see here so we add the material the glass material we um, increase the roughness and then that's it so guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new and don't forget to subscribe like and share next time